Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making chicken and rice bowls in the Instant Pot. So my name is Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com. And every Monday I'm sharing with you a new Instant Pot recipe because if you are new at the Instant Pot, watching a video makes it so much easier to go and use your own. So today I'm making chicken and rice bowls. Now I call them bowls because that's how I like to eat them. But you can use this recipe so many different ways. So I like to use the bowls and I like the sour cream and guacamole on top of it. Or you can put them in enchiladas, tacos, I even put it on salad. You can use this recipe for so many things. Now if you're ready to make this recipe, let's go into the kitchen, get my Instant Pot and make these chicken and rice bowls. You're gonna first start with two cups of rice that you have rinsed and drained so the water runs clear and you'll dump it right into the bottom of your Instant Pot. Add two and a half cups of water right on top of the rice. Now it's time for the seasoning. Now I just added pepper to taste because I love pepper. Then you're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. Next add one teaspoon of garlic powder and then that should be it for the seasoning. So I have one can of black beans that I've rinsed and drained and then add one can of red enchilada sauce. I used a 10 ounce can there. Okay, so now I have two cups of shredded chicken. I like to have mine already cooked and chopped up so it will make this recipe cook even faster. I just got rotisserie chicken and chopped it all up. Now you're just gonna put the lid on, make sure that it's on sealing, not venting, sealing, and you are ready to cook it. So I like to use my manual button. That's about the only button I use. So I'm pushing manual, and because we just have to cook the rice, we're gonna go down to 10 minutes. All right, when it's all done, I flipped the knob over and did a quick release and then just carefully pull the lid off. Beware, it's still going to be hot and steamy, but everything should be cooked all the way through. Now, like I said before, I love this recipe because it will work with enchiladas, with tacos, on top of your salad. You can do all kinds of things with this recipe but I have to say my favorite is the rice bowl. So I like to add cheese on while it's still hot so it can melt, then add a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of guacamole, and then if you love cilantro, I love to add cilantro to the top. All right guys, if you haven't checked out my Instant Pot Recipes Facebook group, I'll put a link in the description for you. We're almost up to 10,000 people in there who are sharing recipes and ideas. That's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and I'll see you next Monday with a new Instant Pot recipe. Alright, see you later. Bye!